ground vehicle. It features automatic target tracking, and has a fire on the move capability. Its sensors are capable of day and night imaging, and include a laser range finder. It can store 1000 rounds of 7.62 mm, or 400 rounds of 12.7 mm ammunition. The unit has a top speed of 25 km hours, and 8 hours endurance with hybrid battery engine. The Altai is a modern main battle tank developed by Turkey. The military electronics company Aselsan manufactures and integrates the Vulcan 3 modular fire control system, command control and information systems, active protection hard kill system, laser warning, driver's vision and navigation systems, CBR and defense elements, to protect it from chemical, biological, radiological and nuclear weapons. Altai tank is to be rolled out in two configurations, T1 and T2. The delivery of 40 units in T1 configuration will be followed by the delivery of 210 T2 versions. The T2 version will possess the following capabilities, advanced armor system, active protection system, isolated hull ammunition configuration, laser guided tank gun firing capability, and mobile camouflage net. Turkey makes verifiable progress in its offensive ground-to-ground long-range missile system, this will inevitably have repercussions in the region. Turkish tactical ballistic missile hit target located 280 km away with point precision, and Turkey would eventually aim to produce ballistic missiles with a range of up to 1,000 km. Some of the foreign capitals falling within that range if the missile is fired through Turkey include Athens, Damascus, Baghdad, Tehran, Tel Aviv and Cairo. Turkey developed Game Changer Long Range Cruise Missile. It will be launched from destroyers, submarines, as well as land platforms, maximum range of 800 km, speed of high subsonic, Athens, Baghdad, Damascus, Tel Aviv, Tehran, Cairo, Dubai and Riyadh, will be in range of Turkish Long Range Cruise Missiles. Standoff missile is Turkey's first indigenous long-range, high-precision air-to-surface cruise missile. It was designed and developed by Defense Industries Research and Development Institute of Turkey. The missile is highly effective against moving land targets, high-value stationary targets, strategic assets, aircraft hangars, air defense systems and command and control centers, as well as warships. Turkey has developed Atmaka anti-ship missile, warhead 250 kg, range 220 km, guidance INS, GPS, radar altimeter and data link, seeker active RF, network enabled capability, super sea skimming, less than 3 meters, zigzag maneuver that makes it difficult for anti-missile batteries. Atmaka missile to enter the inventory in the second half of 2020. Turkey to develop hybrid rocket engines, which are very special rocket engine in the world, to become a player in the space. Turkey fired the world's largest liquid oxygen and paraffin fueled advanced technology rocket engine. Turkey could go to a very advanced point. For example, Turkey could have access to space within five years.
Many countries have developed multi-mode laser. But only the United States and Turkey have developed single-mode laser weapon in the world. Multi-mode laser power is large, but the beam quality is poor. Turkish 20 kW laser weapon destroyed 3 mm steel target from 1.5 km away, in 3 seconds. On August 4, 2019, Turkish laser weapon shoot down Chinese UAV wing Loom 2 in Libya. Turkey is the first country in the world to shoot down a drone with a laser weapon on the battlefield, in a real war. Turkey developed 10 megajoule electromagnetic railgun, to be among the few countries in the world. The railgun which has 50 km effective range, hypersonic velocity, 6 times the speed of sound, with a maximum 10 megajoule pulse power supply, it can be used in land-based and mobile tactical platforms, as well as warships. Turkish electromagnetic railgun shoots, 9 times faster than sound. 32 megajoule muzzle energy, would be capable of launching a 100 nautical mile projectile. Countries such as the United States, Germany, France, China, Russia and Turkey are working on similar systems. The Turkish air defense systems are intended to protect military bases, troops, ports, and other national strategic assets against cruise missiles, helicopters, fighter jets and unmanned aerial vehicles. The Turkish air defense systems use mid-course guidance with inertial navigation system and data link, terminal gradients with imaging infrared seeker. System specifications vertical launch capability with 360 degrees effectiveness, dual state rocket motor technology, thrust vector control system, and impact and proximity fuse. The Turkish low and medium altitude air defense systems will be in service by 2020 and 2021. A three strong team of Turkish companies, Aselsan, Rokitsan and Tebeduk Sage have been tapped to build the first indigenous long range air defense system. The system is crucial for Turkey's defense, which is taking a new step with this project that will upgrade Turkey in the League of Defense Systems. Turkey began receiving the first batch of S-400 air defense system in July. Game Changer S-400 air defense systems will be operational by 2020. Turkey will not integrate Russian S-400 missile systems into the NATO air defense systems. S-400 air defense system can block Eastern Mediterranean against the fighter jets from Greece, Egypt, and Israel for superior military advantage in the region. Turkish Navy, 12 anti-submarine warfare aircrafts equipped with state-of-the-art mission sensors, torpedoes, and high effective of anti-submarine warfare, to hunt enemy submarines in the Eastern Mediterranean, Turkish Air Force has four Boeing E-7 T, airborne early warning aircrafts since 2015. With its high technology the Mesa radar, is the next generation airborne surveillance radar system, range of 600 km, and tracking 180 targets. Airborne early warning aircraft is helping to manage active battle spaces at the tactical level. This is our portal system. Coral is the latest technology radar electronic warfare system. It composed of electronic support and electronic attack systems. This system is mounted on a military tactical track. The system mainly detects tracks, let's files, the radar systems, and then jams and receives the radar systems. A Selsun Spews 2 Electronic Warfare Cell Protection Suite is an advanced, internally mounted, cell protection system, specifically designed for F-16C Block 50 fighter jets. Radar Warning Receiver, Electronic Countermeasures Suite, Deceptive RF Jamming, Intelligent Control of Chaff and Flare Dispenser Systems. The system's electronic countermeasure capabilities allow it to confuse the signals that enable missiles to find planes, and to deceive the missiles by sending signals showing the aircraft in different locations. 
The protection system against radar guided missiles will be especially useful in Turkish Air Force cross border operations. Airborne standoff jammer will be able to detect, identify, deceive and blind enemy communication systems and air defense early warning radars. Airborne standoff jammer system, which has superior technological features than the Coral Land based remote electronic support and electronic attack system, it will combine many electronic warfare capabilities on an aircraft. There is no other system with this quality known in the world, and only a few countries in the world such as the US, Israel, the UK, Russia, Turkey, France. A Selsun EIRS, is a new generation S-band Turkish radar, with range of 600 km, developed for long range early warning, with its AESA and digital beam forming antenna architecture. The EIRS has the ability to detect and track air breathing targets, ballistic missiles, anti-radiation missiles and stealth targets from very long ranges. Active electronically scanned array radar being developed by Turkey, to integrate on the Turkish Air Force's F-16 fighter jets. Turkish active electronically scanned array radar will be capable of non-cooperative and automatic target recognition, while also featuring protection against radar frequency jamming, with electronic support and electronic attack functions. Turkish Buzdog an air-to-air -air missile project has been started by 2013 and will be in service by 2020. A high-resolution dual-color imaging infrared seeker, with a comprehensive off-bore sight capability, along with advanced countermeasures. Also Gokdog an air-to-air -air missile under development, solid-state RF seeker, with advanced countermeasure capability and data link update. Turkish anti-radiation drone itself is the main munition with high explosive warhead. The drone can either operate fully autonomously using its anti-radar homing system, or it can take a human in the loop mode. Anti-radiation drone to be designed to minimize its radar signature through stealth, and to target enemy air defense systems in a first line of attack from thousand kilometers away. The United States, Israel and Turkey are top three countries in the world for UCAV technology. Turkish Akinci UCAV will be in service by 2020. SATCOM, multi-role AESA radar, artificial intelligence technology, electronic data gathering. Akinci UCAV will have air-to-air -air combat and strategic strike capabilities with 1,350 kilograms of payload, which can carry Gokthug air-to-air missiles, 110 km KGK guided bombs and 280 km standoff cruise missile. T625 multi-rolled helicopter is a new generation, twin-engine, six-ton class helicopter. All critical systems such as engine, transmission system, rotor system and landing gears, as well as aerostructures have been developed by Turkey. T625 made its first flight, in 2018, serial production is expected to start in 2021, to replace American Bell UH-1 helicopters.
Turkish 10 tons class utility helicopter with military configuration, suitable for search and rescue, also offshore operations will be developed. Maximum takeoff weight 10 tons, maximum cruise speed 314 km hours, range 1000 km, capacity, 20 crews. T-129 attack helicopter being developed jointly by Augusta Westland and Turkish Aerospace Industries. Phase 2 project would increase the helicopter's payload capacity, which along with design changes would allow it to carry more weapons, laser warning receivers, and other electronic warfare systems. The localization of T-129B2 production has been increased and the first delivery is planned in 2020. Heavy attack helicopter is designed with completely local capacities, conceived as a combination of T-129 and T-625. Heavy attack helicopter is using the subsystems such as transmission, rotor systems and landing gears developed under the T-625 utility helicopter project, as well as the technological know-how operational experience and achievements gained through the T-129 attack helicopter. Turkish heavy attack helicopter will make first flight by 2024, and will be in service by 2028, so Turkey becomes one of three countries in the world that develop heavy attack helicopter after the United States and Russia. TS-1400 engine designed for the T-625 general purpose helicopter. Turkey will create a new turbulent engine family from the TS-1400 engine, to be used in T-625 utility helicopter, as well as T-129 and heavy class attack helicopters. So Turkey becomes one of a few countries in the world, that develop gas turbine engines. The Herjet is new generation, advanced light attack aircraft, being developed by Turkey. It featured a single turbofan engine, and underwing pylons carrying indigenous short-range infrared guided air-to-air -air missiles, and guided bombs, as well as cruise missiles. The Herjet is expected to conduct its first flight in 2022, and to enter service in 2025. The TFX is a proposed twin-engine, all-weather, air superiority, fifth-generation fighter jet being developed by Turkish Aerospace Industries in collaboration with BAE Systems. The aircraft is planned to replace F-16 fighter jets of the Turkish Air Force, and to be exported to foreign air forces. TFX will have state-of-the-art avionics and electronic warfare systems. Advanced active electronically scanned array radar, which will use gallium nitride technology. Advanced navigation features, integrated electro-optical systems, infrared search and track, electro-optical targeting system, advanced jamming capability, advanced cockpit, and human-machine interface. The TFX would make its first flight by 2025, and will be in service for the Turkish Air Force by 2029. On November 8, 2018, the TR Motor signed the Heads of Agreement, to develop indigenous turbofan jet engine, for the TFX National Fighter Jet Program. AJ-class stealth corvettes are equipped with 250 km Smart S3D radar, Genesis state-of-the-art combat management system, bow-mounted sonar for anti-submarine warfare, Ares-2 and electronic warfare system, 8 Harpoon Block 2 missiles, 76mm naval gun, torpedoes, 21 rolling airframe missiles for air defense capability, and Sikorsky Seahawk helicopter for anti-submarine warfare. Four Istanbul-class frigates will be in service for the Turkish Navy between 2021 and 2024. 16 cells MK-41 vertical launch system to fire 64 Evolve Sea Sparrow air defense missiles, integrated with 250 km Smart S3D radar. Also 16 Atmaka anti-ship and land attack missiles, torpedoes for multi-role combat capabilities. 
the TF-2000 class destroyer, is currently undergoing development by the Turkish Naval Institute. It will provide survivability in the presence of aerial threat, and also support mission functions such as command control, and communications, reconnaissance, early warning, surface warfare, anti-submarine warfare and electronic warfare. Total of six Type 214 class, air independent propulsion submarines will be in service for the Turkish Navy between 2021 and 2026. To be armed with submarine launched Atmaka anti ship missiles, Gezin long range land attack cruise missiles, interactive defense and attack missiles, as well as heavy torpedoes. Multi-purpose amphibious assault ship will be in service by 2020, that will multiply the power projection capability of the Turkish Navy. The vessel is to be constructed at 232 meters, with a full displacement of 27,436 tons, and maximum range of 9,000 nautical miles. The vessel can carry 12 F-35 fighter jets, or 30 general-purpose helicopters, in aircraft carrier mode, 